Hello, welcome to Codenbox Automation Lab. This is Sherful. Today we're going to see how we can automate Windows authentication pop-up. So it means, uh, you know, uh, the, when you uh, work on a project, in a real life project, uh, in a different environment in your company like your, you know, dev environment or your uh, testing environment, at that time, you know, when at the beginning when you launch the application, a lot of companies, a lot of applications, they, you know, uh, ask a, a, your authentication uh, username and password to enter. It, they want to verify that you are the right person who has the right access for this application. And that's uh, the built-in authentication pop-up, you know, uh, the features uh, comes with the application. This is not the JavaScript uh, pop-up because uh, we can see I can uh, if you I can show you the difference between okay uh, the JavaScript we have learned before like a JavaScript pop-up window right so if you this is it's an example in our website if you go here say example you type something then click on alert or confirm you will see there will be pop-up window comes up this is called and then you can click on OK cancel or accept or 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 disagree or agree right those kind of you know pop-up window is called a uh, JavaScript uh, pop-up but we're talking now I'm talking about it's called uh, window pop-up I will show you an example but let's talk about a little bit uh, you know definition so authentication is a process that address the question who you are the auth authentication is done by obtaining a valid username and password on an internet system or your application. Once a user, a user is authenticated, the system confirms that you match the identity of who, you, who, whoever you are, you know, claiming. So you know, then you have the full access, or you have the, you know, a, uh, access to work on this application. So that's called the, you know, window authentication or authentication, you know, function. And we have to if you have that kind of function in your application definitely uh, you know you have to uh, automate first you have to enter the username and password first and then you can get inside the application and then you can do rest of your automation as an example let me show you again I'm going to show you an example authentication you know what I mean uh, let me give you an address I think uh, go here. There's a website. H. Okay, basic. Okay. There's a website. If you go there, here, here we go. You can see there is a website. Okay, this is an in an example of window authentication. So as soon as you go to that application, it's pop up a window and it's asking you uh, to enter a username and password. You can see. This is not a regular pop-up window. This is not a JavaScript pop-up. This is called window authentication. So uh, you can see there is no inspect option so that you can inspect your username field and password and then click on sign in. So how can we you know, automate uh, it for this authentication uh, function? So there is a two way we can do. Number one, it's uh, there's a tool it's called auto IT there's a auto IT is a third-party tool so where we can do some scripting we can download uh, that uh, you know that uh, API and then we do a script uh, scripting up there uh, and then create a exe file and then run that exe file through our selenium web driver that's a, a little bit a lot of works right so that's a one way and there is a other way we can directly do it through a selenium web driver that's a there's a little tricky it's not a trick it's very straightforward it's very simple but you know we can pass our username that username and a password with the URL of that application we can inject our username and password with the URL and then so automatically that username and password will pass to that username field and password field and we'll click on the sign in button automatically so that that's the you know part of Selenium Web Driver directly without any hassle. Okay, let's see in the demo. Okay, so I create a uh, 
uh, uh, class is called window authentication okay and then I'm going to write my you know system properties all those things where is my so this is uh, okay this is a system set property this is my web driver key and this is the uh, directory path and then okay create a relationship between web driver uh, interface and Chrome driver class so let's uh, hover my mouse so import the web driver package create uh, input the Chrome driver package okay here then I use uh, you know maximize method and also I, I you know put some implicitly wait like 10 seconds or maybe less so input that time unit okay so after that uh, first we'll see uh, the application let me go to the you know application first so so to to run any application what do you do we what do we say driver dot get then we pass the URL right so let's pass the URL so this is the URL let's see what happened if you run it just run it you'll see okay so I'm running this okay in both the browser okay here we go you can see it's automatically so as soon as I run this application it's now so this is the window authentication pop-up window come up right so since uh, you know I can I didn't pass any username or password field because I can not inspect it there is no inspect option you can see right so that time I can do it so let's close it so how can I you know uh, inject I can pass the username and password with the URL so the the method is just so I'm going to say this is the way you you're going to you know add your username and password with the URL so say HTTP then clone right so and here after the double slash we'll say username whatever you your username clone then password password and then add the red so whatever your URL whatever that this is though if it, this is the URL you will pass the URL type the URL up there right URL okay so that's the if you have a URL.com or just your URL okay. so this is the syntax you can say this is the way to send so if I want to pass this one right so what would be the uh, code so code would be driver dot get and then I'm going to the pass okay so this is HTTPS clone double slash and then username is, I know this username is admin and password is also admin so I'll say this is my ADM this is my username then clone then password admin admin and then at the red and then pass the oh sorry URL so this is because I put the HTTP okay this is the URL okay so now it should automatically input this admin this first admin is my username and this is the next admin as a password and automatically it will click on the sign in button okay so what happened after this so I want to make sure that it's uh, after it's logged in, it's uh, it's landed to the home page. Uh, to verify that, let's me let me go to this side. Okay, say I know, so I can say admin, right, and then admin, 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 sign in. So you log in. So after it log in, you can see I can see there is a congratulation, you know, uh, the text. So I can verify. I can uh, you know grab this uh, get this tax this congratulation and I can print it in my console and that will be confirmed that you know I was able to land on home page so let's inspect it 
Okay, there is a P. I can use directly. Kropa, that's fine. Real. Okay, and then copy this. Okay, so I will just you know get the text and then I will print the text, right? So I'm going to say after it's login. I'm going to say uh, driver dot uh, find element find element by say xpath xpath right by xpath and then I'll put the expression put the expression say okay p contains text text method using congratulation i don't need to put a whole thing right let's delete so since i'm going to you know get the text using text method so i can use uh, you know partial text so i'll use congratulation right this is the one and then i will get the use the get text method so that i can get the text and then I will put this text in a variable, say given name text, and so return time is a string, right? So, and after that I will print this text. So sys out, and then let's print this text. So this is supposed to this supposed to get the congratulation uh, you know the sentence the word and then it's supposed to put in a text variable and then I'm printing this text and so it should print in my console then it will confirm I will confirm that okay I was able to land on the home page after login successfully login okay so let's comment this line save it okay let's run it Okay, let's go. Okay, so invoke the browser. Okay, looks good. Here we go. It it was so quick that he probably you didn't see the the authentication window, but it's automatically you know it was able to log in that's why it's now you can see this is where now it's a, a, a home page so because previously we have seen after you enter uh, successfully enter username and password it's landed to this home page where it says congratulation you you know this sentence at the basic auth so this is the page we are able to uh, you know uh, land after we use the username and password with the URL okay so let's see our console so our console also sh shows you can see this uh, the whole sentence that we put you know we this is the line and it we put uh, the whole this text in this text variable which is printed here so this is the printer over here okay so that's that's all about uh, the you know the automation of uh, authentic windows authentication pop-up which is different than JavaScript pop-up Okay, and this is the easiest way you can automate through the Selenium web driver, you know, other than depend on any other third party tools. I hope you enjoyed and you, and, and, uh, you learned it. So, thank you so much and uh, wait for the next video. You know, welcome something new stuff. Bye bye.